3820, which is a substantial amount of money, which means that you sort of built up an invoice over an extended period of time. How many days a week did you watch these children? I had the children five days a week. From when to when? 8.30 in the morning to 5.30 p.m. under two separate entities. What does that mean? They were enrolled in my school for part of the day, and then I watched them privately the other portion of the day. Did the state pay for any part of that? No. Who paid for the school part? One of the issues that I had ongoing was unavailability to receive a parenting plan. I requested it several times, and it was not given I, to I, me. Uh, th th just a second. That doesn't answer my question. My question was a specific one. Who paid for the school part? No one. From when to when? September, when school started, through December 16th, when the children stopped attending school. Had they ever attended school with you before? Had you yes. ever taken care of in the preceding year? Correct. Who paid for that? That was paid for by the mother. The mother was in rehab, so I don't know how she was paying. She wasn't in rehab at that time. What kind of work did she do? She is a counselor. Is that how she met Matthew? I do not know how she met Matthew. So in 2016, it was paid for by the mother who then went into rehab. She didn't go into rehab till 2017. Hmm? Rehab started in 2017. Rehab was after they were no longer in my care. Well, if you go into rehab, that means you have a problem. That means the likelihood of you being employed on a regular basis if you have the kind of problem that requires rehab to me is de minimis. Was she working? all throughout 2016 before she went into rehab. Yes. As a what? I think in 2016 she was working as a rehab counselor, but I do have the agreement that she made with Jackie regarding the child care right here. I don't care. Who paid her from September until December? I don't know the name of the job, but it was a rehab counselor. I believe subsidiary Did you ever have a contract with the mother to pay you for services? No. Yes, she, it's right here. I'd like to see it. This is... Jackie sent me this email. This is an email detailing her contract with the mother. I just and that's see. an email. I just want to see. It's no, on this the backside. Isn't... Backside. And I actually paid Jackie thirteen hundred dollars in October to cover the child care that the mother was supposed to pay. Did you attempt any time in the last twelve months to get a loan, Miss Doherty? No. Was there ever a time that you wanted to move the school that you currently have that was in your own home to a different facility? Yes. When was that? That was in 2016. Okay, so in 2016 you attempted to get the loan. I did. And at that time, did you have an outstanding credit issue? Yes. So the 38 to 20 that was deposited in your account was, as the plaintiff indicates, for that credit issue, because at that time you were being paid by the mother. Correct. Right. That's what you just told me, that the transfer of monies were made because of this loan that you wanted to get to resolve your credit issues because in 2016, according to what you told me, you were being paid by the mother. That was at a different school. I don't care whether it was on Pluto. <laughs> I got it. Sounds to me like you have taken on some tremendous responsibilities that weren't your responsibility. Yep. You took it on because of few people's lack of good judgment, including the state of what state is he in? Washington. Washington state. Judging for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. That's my maximum. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Parties are excused. You may step out. I think she treated the kids well. I, we really needed somebody to, that we could trust that could take the kids up there to visit their father. I loved the little kids. They, were, um, they had known me for several years and been in my care, and I'd seen their family go through many things. I thought she did a good job. We thought she'd be the perfect person for that. We really liked how the agreement worked out. It seemed like it would have been a win-win. And those kids needed some stability in their life. But she just didn't follow through. Well, for me personally, it's just not to get involved in other people's business.